Welcome to Challenge 2 of Hackathon 13. Our team consists of Ryan, Duane, Sai, Marius, Brighton, and Alvas. And our challenge is to develop and facilitate an effective evacuation system. We are trying to establish a user friendly interface to capture st status and safety. And out the current system has flow like a potential human error. So we are trying to get a better way to solve it. Our solution is given by Duani. The solution we've devised pulls in employee data from Microsoft Excel, uses a form which is built in Microsoft Power Apps, which then uses Microsoft Flow to trigger a series of events and actions, which ends up in a Power BI report. In the event of an emergency, a registered admin or member of the team will have access to the safety check app. It will then come the initiate mark safe button, which will then send an email to the manager with a Power BI report. This will also send an email to all of the members of staff which were on site and have checked in for the day at work. What will then happen is that all members of staff that have checked in for the day will receive a link to the safe register. It will automatically recognize who they are. They'll then be responsible for marking themselves safe. And if they see any colleagues around them or any visitors around them, they can then check in on their behalf. Once they've checked in themselves and any colleagues or people around them, click on submit form. This will then feed back into the Dataverse where all the data is stored which automatically feeds in and updates the Power BI report. Thank you for that, Dwayne. Once the Power App trigger is activated, it will run the following flow. Firstly, it will pull through the table of all staff that have checked into the site for a predefined date. A future ambition is to have that as a dynamic date. Two separate emails are then sent out. The first to a list of predefined staff who would be managers, uh, asking them to access the Power BI report in order to track staff safety. The second email that will be sent is to all staff that have checked in, requesting that they mark themselves as safe through the Power app. The two emails are shown here, the first being for the managers and the second for staff. And I'll hand over to Ryan to talk you through the Power BI report. So this is the report that we put together. It will show for any specified date how many people were scheduled to be on site, how many people were on site in total, including both your workers and any visitors that they were to the site. And it will also be fed the results of the app from Dataverse to know how many people have actually checked in following the safety event. You can actually see this on an individual basis as well. So who has and who hasn't checked in, this information can then be fed into the emergency services to aid any of their recovery efforts. A couple of benefits from the app and the process as a whole. The first being from a health and safety perspective, it would eliminate the need to gather in large groups. So following any evacuation event, everyone would be able to just go their own way, go home and mark themselves as safe. Um, the, app, the app has been kept as simple as possible. So it's really user friendly. So as long as you can get access to a mobile or a computer, you can mark yourself and your colleagues as safe. And with the report, it allows for an accurate tracking of staff. Um, so this can help the emergency services and eliminate the need of any recovery efforts for people who are already safe. Some of the obstacles that can be faced with the proposed flow is that maintaining connection between systems and as we propose that we'll be contacting employees via emails. So allowing staff to be contacted via mobile and also due to human error as the, as the text is entered by the visitors in open text. So, so there may be an obstacle in ensuring that, uh, that we are getting accurate details from the visitors. So the future opportunities in terms of short term duration is incorporating signing. Employee sign in has, uh, as it automatically can be detected that these employees are safe. And then uh, making sure that the staff sign in and sign out without fail. And the long-term goals is just creating event-specific triggers and identifying accurate locations when the event is triggered to know the specific locations of the employees and also establishing a digital on-site process would be helpful to avoid human errors. The, the first question is that uh, how does it 
deal with guests who may have been manually signed in but weren't scheduled. So in our app, we have an option whereby uh, a registered user or an employee can be able to check in for other employees who are around him. So there is a manual text box where you can input names of uh, people who are around you who can't get access to the app. So you, you are able to mention their names and submit their status. Uh, and in the future, uh, this application can be modified or uh, additional features can be added in, in such a way that uh, we can have self-registration for visitors uh, whereby they can be able to log in and check in by themselves. But as of now, uh, any, a registered employee is able to check on, on their behalf. And the second question is, how easy is the app to use for people in the stressful, stressful situation? Uh, the way we design this app is quite easy to use because what is required is for just an, ad, an administrator to trigger the check-in process and uh, instantly uh, an employee gets an email whereby uh, he can access the app and just click the box and check in that I'm safe or register a few names of people who are around him or her and just click submit. So it takes a quite a uh, few, few, few minutes to do this. Uh, and the third one is, uh, how easy are the results to interpret in terms of emergency management? Um, from the Power BI, uh, there's a report that directly shows you who is safe and who is not safe. So basically, uh, if you're looking at that report, you can easily identify who is not safe and uh, focus more on them uh, if it's designing an evacuation procedure or doing something uh, at the moment you can do and uh, you will not need to worry for those people who are already marked safe.